In today's video, we're going to be covering this week's World Cup market crash and the investments you guys can make. So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. For the cheapest premium trading service for just £4, four euro, or free with Amazon Prime. You'll get yourself daily trading and investing guides covering both Xbox and PlayStation with an array of different techniques depending on your budget. I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million on multiple titles and recently making over 10 million in the first month for the last three years. So what we are going to be doing in today's video is walking you guys through why things are going to happen to the market over the next week and where you guys can make some investments and where you guys can save yourself a bit of money. So this week we are expecting to get ourselves a World Cup Heroes pack. Now the reason for this is this has only recently been added to the pack code and a lot of the time when stuff is recently added to the pack code it will then come out as an SPC a few days later. And we've got ourselves the World Cup Hero Pack that's been added. Now this is not to be mistaken with the free pre-order one but you can see right here here's the pre-order one and then here is the actual World Cup pack. Now this got added um, I believe it was 3-4 days ago and uh, because we normally get ourselves Hero Packs on the Monday we then anticipate this coming on the Monday so tomorrow. So what can we expect as a result of the World Cup pack coming? Now we can expect the market to drop, we can expect certain fodder to rise, and then we can expect the market to rebound after. So, what are we, uh, what are we expecting? Let's, uh, let's start off with having a look at some of the players. Now there's already been a bit of panic selling because of the World Cup pack, um, and on top of that a few promo packs. And actually, I would compare this World Cup pack to have a reaction to the market, just like we saw on the 28th, when I believe we got the first 86 plus base or uh, Marvel hero pack. So we can go back here and we can look at the promo team that was out on the week where we got the base and Marvel hero pack. And uh, we can go and look at players like Ben White. And what we can do is we can see these drops on Monday, then the hero pack came out on Monday, and then they rebounded for the rest of the week. And these are cards that are in packs. We can even look at cards that weren't at packs. Al Awari, for example. Al Awari, 85 rated. Again, we can go scroll and look at the 28th. And uh, he was down there at 106. And then we can see he rebounded after. So, anticipation around the World Cup pack. World Pack come, pack comes out and they rebound. So, basically, where's the Friday? He drops around about 30%. And then he rebounds 30% of the price he dropped to. So he didn't rebound the full price, but he rebounded a decent proportion. In fact, he rebounded 22k on the day average, which would have made you a nice little around about 15k per card, which would not have been too bad. Bear in mind, you'd be holding onto the card for 4k four days. And on top of that, you've got to understand that's the daily average. He very easily could have gone down to 100, sub 100, and so on. So we basically think that this trend is going to happen. And because we think that this trend is going to happen, we're going to basically look to make some investments. So the first thing is, the market should drop to a Monday, just like when we got the 86 plus base or World Cup hero pack. Now again, you can see it rebounds pretty, pretty nicely there. Now, one of the reasons we do believe that this is going to happen is because we're already starting to see a drop in the market. So last time we saw them, we saw him drop, what is this? This would have been about 20% between the Friday and the Saturday. Now, if we go to Friday's price, we can see that he's 132k. He's now 113k, that is down 20k, which isn't quite 20%, but it's about 16, 17%, which, you know, is showing that, I mean, we're, we're not even by the end of the day. By the end of the day, he might be down at like 105, but we can see that he's even started, you know, dropping between, sorry, we're on Sunday now. Um, we can see that on Friday, he was going for a nice 135. Yesterday, he was going down to, he was going for about 122. And then from yesterday to today, he's been about 110 to 115. So we can see he's dropping every day. And we've still got the Sunday evening drop. And then the Sunday to Monday. And then going into Monday. Which will very very much probably leave him going down to 100k. Just like he did on the 28th. Which is again what we expect to happen to the market. Now we can see the market dropping across the board. Some players have dropped because of some of the promo cards. But then there's some cards that shouldn't really be affected. Let's go for example. Who can we go and bring up? So I'm like Odegaard. I don't believe there's been any... Are there any Prem cams in the current promo? I do not believe there are. No, no Prem cams. No one who can even play cam as a Prem player. And Odegaard, we can see from Friday, he has dropped. Friday, 74k. Well, it's not an amazing example, but yesterday he would drop from 74 to 70. And today, has he had lows below 17 though? Because the majority of the drops is in the evening, if there is. So he should continue dropping again. He's on a bit of a daily fluctuation. You can see he's been like 70 and he's actually rebound a little bit up there to 72 
But cards across the board, I mean, again, maybe I can go and pick an Icon would be a good example, have uh, have kind of dropped. And they should continue dropping going into Monday, and we should either see one of two things in the low point. The low point will either be just before the SBC comes out, so about 4 or 5 p.m. on the Monday, when everyone's hyped about the World Cup pack coming out, and everyone's panic selling, um, and therefore they're very, very heavily panic sell pre the pack. And then the pack comes out, and, you know, again, people do the pack, and then they go, okay, now I need to buy my team back which is why we saw players like Alawari rebound really well, because people still had to buy their team back after the pack, especially if the pack is not repeatable. There you go, here's Petit. Petit has already gone from 207k down to 180, so we can already see that's down 10%. I believe he is still dropping each day, 183, and then today he's been down about 175, even as low as 170, so we can see, you know, yet, yet again, more cards that are dropping on the market. So these cards will again drop till just before the SBC or just after the SBC. The reason we don't know is because we've seen multiple different trends. Sometimes they've been the cheapest 4 or 5 p.m. before the SBC came out. Sometimes we've seen the SBC drop them. If you want to play it safe, I'd say probably rule of thumb. If they're down 30% from Friday, very safe to buy pre, uh, pre the SBC coming out. If they're only down about 10%, probably wait until, you know, wait until the SBC comes out. But be very vigilant on the cards because they can rebound 10, 20% in 10 minutes because everyone's buying their team back after doing the SBC very fast. So, what cards are we looking to buy the most? The cards we're looking to buy the most are basically going to be cards that are down about 20 to 30% from Friday. Now, the cards I'd hold off of buying would be right backs, because they're down because of Frim Pong, and players that have like blatantly dropped as a result of some of these players coming out. For example, Gwen Doozy has absolutely decimated the price of Suzuko. So, you know, be very observant and very, I guess, visual of Okay, has one of the new promo players been the reason that he's down from 85k down to 60k? But um, yeah, I so said the majority of players should be decent to look at. You can look at some of the Path of Glories that have crashed out. I do think someone like Bruno Gephemers will uh, be will be seeing an all-time low on him on the Monday. Again, what was he down? I think it was down about one. What did he get down to? Yes, they got down to 185. He has rebounded a little bit since, but again, I do think the day-to-day -day, uh, will be him dropping. He also did drop from 2 p.m. onwards, and we are about 2 p.m., so we could be seeing a repeat on that. And again, he should be dropping to the likes of uh, Monday, and then should rebound onwards. On top of that, you can also do, you can also make these investments with the other live cards that are still in the competition. Sunday Buffal, you know, got up to 100k yesterday, but he's down to 88, and again, he should continue dropping till Monday, maybe gets down to about 60, 70. Buy that, and then sell him before his next game. Obviously, you've got Buffal, um, you've got, go on, who's left, Dan? You've got Romero, obviously, he's left. You've got Gomez, who's left. You've got Brozovic, who's left. And um, whatever French players are uh, are still Puff Marys, that's Griezmann and what's the other one? In Cuckoo. So you can look at buying them on the Monday because they'll rise going into the hype. Yeah, they'll drop going into it. Uh, I'd recommend looking at old heroes. Again, one of the other cards that did very, very well last time was the likes of Base Brolin. You can see right here, Base Brolin, last time we got the hero pack, he dropped from... Where's the Friday? He dropped from 106k down to 81k and he actually managed to rebound 97 which means that there's a 16k difference with a 5k tax, which means you make 11k for every Brozovic that you buy. Sorry, not Brozovic, sorry. Hero Brolin you buy. And all it is is a th like three, four day hold. And again, he's kind of starting to show those exact same trends. 93k, he's already down to, well, probably about 75 to 80. I'd imagine he's been fluctuating. Yeah, he's been down at 75k. So he's already dropped 20k, which is already a 20% drop. And we could continue seeing him drop down to, you know, lows of and potentially even lower than the 81k he was previously. In fact, to be very confident, he will drop below 81k. And once again, it was only two weeks ago we already, like, we saw that there was good demand. I doubt in the last two weeks there's really been enough to make him not demanded. Now, the one thing I would say is with some of the more expensive ones, I mean, we can look at his more expensive one, there wasn't as good of a drop and rebound in terms of, like, percentages. Although he doesn't actually look too bad. Where did he go? So, Brolin dropped and rebounded about 25%, whereas this card, Friday, 500, down to Monday, which was 460, so he's dropped only about 15%, and then he's rebounded back to 490, which again is going to be just under 20%. So, the more expensive cards don't seem to have as big as a drop and rebound, and that's because people probably aren't panic selling this guy to do the SBC, because 500k is a lot more than probably what the SBC will be. Whereas the other, the other Brolin is only 90, which probably means it's more the range of people panic selling to be able to go and afford the SBC. Um, I'd also be looking at buying World Cup Phenomenon cards. 
because we did see some really decent rebounds with these cards, which are basically the promo equivalent of this week. Um, the best cards to go for is stuff that's under like three, 400k. Anything over 400k is just too expensive for it to really be mass bought. Some of the very, very popular cheap cards we've got are the likes of um, James, Gwenduzi. You've got the likes of Saka's quite well demanded if you look at how many games are being played. Uh, Pedri, Conde. And again, sadly, some of the you know some of these guys are a little bit too expensive. Probably had hold of the Toro. There's 101 Serie A uh, strikers. If you do want to buy these guys for your team as well, best time to buy them Monday. In fact, best time to buy anyone for your team should be Monday with all the panic selling. And then they will continue to rebound till Friday. Now, there's a chance that they actually rebound for two weeks in a row. Because, in fact, if I go back to Brolin, you'll see that he didn't just rebound for one week. He should have rebounded for two weeks. Hopefully. I don't know if this is going to fit the agenda. Is it not going to fit the agenda? No. There were players that did rebound for two weeks. I think maybe Alawari might be a good example. Now, how they rebound normally depends on... Uh, yeah, I mean, there was a slight rebound for two weeks. So how they rebound will depend on Friday's promo, really. If Friday's promo is trash, uh, then you'll just see them continue to rebound and rebound and re rebound. Now, Friday's promo, I believe, is called World Cup Stars. World Cup Stars is a promo, more like they're not just going to be celebrating the best performances, maybe individual moments, or just, you know, players who've played very well throughout the tournament. Uh, we'll, go into late, we'll go into who I think will be in that team in a later date. So there's a chance that it's just another plebby upgrade, you know, plebby promo where everyone just gets two team the week upgrades. And because all they get is two team the week upgrades, you know, the market could continue rebounding like it did a little bit here where he went 1 3 2, but then he rose for yet another week up to 1 3 6. Again, nothing too crazy here, but I think. If we look at Ben White, I think he had a really good two-week rebound. Yeah, there you go. Where we see he rose to one Friday, 90. And then if you look at him the following Friday, he was up at 104. Arguably, it could be a little bit of World Cup hype, but we did see them rise for two weeks, none the less. So that is investing in players. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be wondering about what about investing in fodder. Now, if you don't want to invest in fodder, you can go and invest in 84s, because 84s are the most versatile fodder going. They are literally used for every single rated team. Um, obviously, if you are pre-investing, you probably want to go unassigned. Other than that, I'd recommend looking at 87s through to about 91s. Now, 87s through to 89s are the most likely requirement of minimum 388 plus, minimum 389 plus, minimum 287s, and then we want another 287s here. These have the highest chance of being needed. They're the most consistently used for icons and hero SBCs. And of course, because they are ramping up the the SBC, obviously this is you know going to be one of the best SBCs we've seen so far. They can ramp up what requirements they're required going for. On top of that, we are seeing more and more promo cards becoming fodder, which means that EA previously, let's say, they would have only had Edison, Oblak, Casemiro, and Allison and Kane. So let's say they'd have five eighty nines. But obviously, the later in the game, Suarez is now fodder, Mane's fodder, Morientes is fodder, Son is fodder, Kante is fodder. You can start seeing them require higher ratings because there's more, you know, there's a there's a higher supply of uh, and there's a larger pool of players that uh, that they can ask you to use. So um, yeah, you could see them require anything from an 87 to an 89. If they're open ratings above an 86, 87, 88, or 89 rated teams, these guys would do very well. That's because everyone's got loads of untradeable fodder, especially with a lot of these untradeable packs they've been throwing in the uh, in the store as of recently. So a lot of token packs. People can have some low rated untradeable fodder, which means they're going to use a few 91s, and then that's going to carry all these 83s, 84s, and 85s that people are going to have untradeable in their club. So that is uh, pre-investing in fodder. Alternatively, you've got just wait and see what's needed. You know, if they do come out and they need 388s, well then, you know, if you've got a million coins just sitting there, you can go and buy 88s when we know that 88s are needed. Likewise, if they go and require 518, let's say they require 587s, when then you go all in that 87s. So there, you don't necessarily have to pre-invest in your fodder because you could just wait and see what happens and then invest. That won't work if you did want to go and put 2 million coins into 84s because you won't be able to buy two, put 2 million coins into 84s in 10 minutes. That's kind of like an hour job, which means you need to do that in advance. You can also go and invest in Team of the Weeks. Um, if I can go and apply this filter. You can go invest in Team of the Weeks with a quick look. The best value for money at Team of the Week would probably be 85s. I'd say 86s wouldn't be a bad shout as well at 18k. But um, yeah, I mean, bear in mind there's, I think, about a 4 5k difference between an 84 gold and an 85 gold. Well, then you might as well go for an 84 5 rated in form if it's only 1k more because it's just good value for money in comparison to the golds. But um, yeah, so I'd go into 85s. 86s look good. What else is looking good? 
I think um, Casemiro wasn't looking too bad because I think it was only about 5k more than the other 90s. But uh, yeah, that's all she wrote in terms of fodder for informs. Now the market again, I think that's probably probably about it. It should be rebounding till Friday. If we do have earlier news that the up-and-coming promo's got insane stats, well then, you know, we, we might want to sell off a little bit earlier than Friday, maybe go for like a Wednesday, Thursday sell-off. But I'd say that's probably all she wrote. So, we are expecting the World Cup Hero Pack on Monday. We expect the market to drop going into Monday, and it'll either be cheapest, probably about 4 or 5 p.m. on Monday, or after the SVC comes out on Monday. Again, if it's down about 30% pre, it's looking like a decent buy. If not, you can wait till after. Market then should proceed to rebound till Friday. Um, and then, depending on how good the promo is on Friday, the market will either rise or drop. Uh, but I'm sure players will get leaked before that. And uh, again, with Fodder, 84s or go 87s to 91s. You can either pre-buy or wait till the SBC comes out and then buy with Rash Investing. But that's all she wrote. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow in another video where we'll talk about the um, foot stars that I think will end up being in the uh, team and if you maybe want to look at pre-investing in the gold cards.